Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking about the NYX Face Awards final that I attended there on Wednesday. As you've seen from all my social media and things like that, I'm sure you know what went down. Here is a quick run through of what we got up to from Wednesday morning. Take a look. So it is like 4.30 a.m. and I'm currently half asleep. But I'm so excited for today, I can't wait. Just ready to meet Sarah at the airport. I'm so fucking tired, but I'm so excited as well, I can't wait. So stay tuned for the airport and see what we get up to. That bitch got priority through, so. Because we VIPs like that girl, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah. Look at that flawless makeup. No. <laughs> through cream comes through. Cream. Look at that glow. It's really nice. Find a driver. <laughs> Is that him? Coming, Is that coming him? through. Come through. I have a personal driver and luggage holder. And Sarah has carry her own bag. <laughs> Would you have preferred to get the Gatwick Express? Mm, hashtag no. Hashtag why? Hashtag, I'm a VIP. <laughs> Sarah, Hannah. what are you looking at? Hannah. 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 She's looking at That's Hannah. That's real Hannah. Oh, it smells like weed. It smells like weed. Oh my god, look how cute this is. So, what did I get here? It says a 250 euro voucher to spend in our Westfield Stratford Nick's Professional Makeup Boutique. Show this voucher at the till and quote face 2017 and bring ID. I can't believe that I can spend 250 euro. Lovely little biscuit. Oh. and a little handwritten letter that says Hi Luke, we are so excited that you could join us for the Face Awards final tonight. We have popped a few goodies in the room for you to enjoy plus take home. See you at 7pm, Georgie, Sam and Annabelle. And they have a little goodie bag here which I don't know what's in it but I can't wait to look and this is the best bit. Where is it? It's somewhere around here. Look at that. <laughs> Luke Hart. <laughs> M-U-A. Isn't that right, yes! Sarah? Yes, queen, come through! Come through! Luke. Come through. <laughs> Stay tuned for our yes. glam look. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> come through, Teal, come through. <sighs> what you laughing at, Pussy? You bitch. Laughing at you. You motherfucking hoe! Oh, they so can air us next. They're gonna give us funny looks when we get them. Who? Next door. Oh, yeah. That was a nice little curve you got going on there. They call me Luke Cookery's heart. It's like what Sarah doing in the background. Oh, she's. Slapping her gee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is so going in this video. You hear the girls and boys? I put moisturizer on myself. She was in my hole. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? It's actually so fucking loud. Like, I'm just trying to like put it on really nice and thick. <laughs> <laughs> she loves the god thick one. I should really like stuff, dog. Can't wait for these fucking hors d'oeuvres. Hors d'oeuvres? Hors d'oeuvres. If there's free wine, I'll take 12. Uh, <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> Story of my life. Cut a bitch. Cut a bitch. Cut, 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 cut a bitch. Is that a song? No, I made it up in one of my YouTube tutorials. Your song. Yeah, did you, did you watch? Did you watch? 
back. Yeah, do you remember? Yeah. The, yeah. I was wondering, I was like, maybe that's a song. <laughs> maybe Valentina is the new thing. I think Valentina is secretly J though. I think Valentina is gonna be out for a while. I think she's um I think she's staying. She's here to stay. Stay. Sarah, yeah. you should go for X Factor. We should! You. Me? Yeah. That's fucking bullshit. Just so you can get four nails. Oh! <laughs> uh, get a bitch! Little bitch. Little biatch. Little biatch. I'm feeling my oats. Your oats? Your mum's oats. Who's your mum? It's in RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, See, this bitch needs to watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Mm. She's not, she's, I, I don't even know why I brought her. <laughs> <laughs> Who even are you? Who even is she? She Who doesn't even go here. Who <laughs> <laughs> even go here? Uh -huh. Who are you? See, this is what makes good video when you're not actually planning it. No, because we're just fucking silly gobshite. Well, like, this is, we're not just doing this for the camera. By the way, me and her are just constantly like this. We're just constant gobshite. Constant freaks. Why do I have a leaky? Fucking eye. Oh no, I'm not able for leaky eyes. No one really asked your opinion, hon. <laughs> well, like, fuck you. New car anyway, Mua. Mua. You fucking Mua. Mua. arrived at the Knicks Awards final. It was just a crazy moment. Like, we arrived there, there's these huge names that were there, like Jamie Genevieve was there. There was like, the past two years, winners. Um, so many big names that I would never, when I started out in makeup, see myself at that level with those type of people and their artistry. Like, it's just not something that I've seen myself do. And in such a short period of time, like I'm only doing makeup over what, like two years now? And when some people ask me how long you do makeup, I say two years, they're like, no, shut up, like, you're not, you're doing it, like, about eight to ten years. I'm like, no, it's, I, I'm only doing it two years. So, got there, had a champagne reception, it was fab, um, had little, like, finger food, things like that, and then we went down for the final. And it was, like, the room was gorgeous, it was so lit up, it was all, like, blues and pinks, and it was laid out for, like, 300 people, and... It was just amazing. So we sat down, got our seat, and the judges came out. So then we had the five finalists and they went up one by one and they went video by video. And it was just great to see all the creative looks because you get one team, but everyone has a different mindset. Like that's what I love about it. It's just, it's totally different. Heather, which is also known as Makeup Mouse, ended up winning. Oh, her look was just amazing, like it was stunning. And her look on the night was actually stunning as well. She like wore this gorgeous headpiece, went all red. It was just beautiful, beautifully put together. So I was so happy for her, everyone was delighted for her. Like it's such an amazing prize. Like 10,000 a trip to LA for the American Face Award final and I think it was a professional makeup course in London as well. She just will have such an amazing year. I know the other two girls that won the past two years had such an amazing years and careers have taken off and it does really build a platform for you. Like I got to the top 20, but I've never would have met these people. I never would have got loads of NYX products. I would have never met the NYX team, which are absolutely amazing. They've done so much for me since I started in this competition, and I can't thank, thank them enough for it. Um, they got me to start my YouTube channel because I was pushing and pushing it for a year, and it just didn't happen. I was like, I was putting it off stupidly, making stupid excuses, and I had to make a top 20 unboxing video. So that's what I had to do. So I went out, got my Canon in Vegas, got my ring light off Amazon. I said, let's do it. So what they have done for me so far has just been amazing and I just made it to the top 20. Not that that's not an achievement, I, I'm delighted that I made it to the top 20 and I was shocked that I even got picked. But to get to the top 10, top 5 and win is so big that the top 20 to me is like small in that case. And to get the treatment that I did over the course of this awards has just been crazy. Like you know from my social media that it's just been mental, the products, the everything the publicity my my name getting shared to lots of people meeting lots of clients contacts everyone 
and that had 10 of their new cream paints which I just needed, I was running out so amazing for my special effects looks and they gave us 5 of the new eyeshadow palettes which are beautiful as well, I'll run through them soon and they gave us my cellar water and that was in the bag then and then we had 250 euro to spend the next day so that was that and then the 250 euro got spent in the pro store and it was just amazing like the shop was huge they had like a professional masterclass area i've never seen that in Dublin. like like london is just on another level like so we we were just like shocked i was walking around with three baskets i was like i'll buy this i'll buy that throwing everything in and i literally bought so much products like this bag here which is like full and then this bag here as well which is like there's just so much products in it. So I'm just gonna run through like every single thing that I got. I'm not gonna go into detail of everything, but I'll just show you everything else in the bag basically. So the first thing that I'm pulling out here is their micellar water. Haven't tried this before, but I can't wait to try it. Then we have all of the cream paints, literally loads in there. Yellow, green, pink, black, white. We got some lipstick, so some purple, some nudes. I um, can't wait to try this. It's the this is everything loving lip balm. I'm mad for lip balms. We got some eyelash curler as well. Like as you can see, there's like loads. 250 pound spend in the professional store. I think it was in Stratford. So I'll show you what's in here. So I got a powder puff. Got a cream contour palette. So it's really really nice and they're pretty big as well. This would be great for drag looks or just like a heavy nighttime look as well. I got some beauty blenders, got an epic ink liner, got HD loose powder which I use all the time, brown mascara to save myself because I don't like strong brows like daytime, um, we have the brow gel as well for a more stronger look, I got those in espresso so they would be my hair colour, we got the sweet cheeks blush palette which I already have but there's no harm in having two. I got this mini cream contour palette as well, it's really really nice. And we have our dewy finish setting spray, I always use the matte one but this is meant to be a little bit fresher. So I've seen this whipped charcoal cleanser which looks really really nice, it doesn't like you don't peel it off or anything, it's just like a, a foams up with water. I can't wait to try that though because anything with charcoal reduces oil and I am an oily bitch. So foundation brush, another one, it's like a, it's a hard stipple one. Really good value of the brushes, especially their pro set as well, it's just amazing. NYX Sway Lip Liners, that's like a nude. I got a white one as well, waterline or lip liner you can use it for. I got that one as well as more of a pinky nude as you can see there. I got two of these uh, Wonder Pencils, so they're for your waterline. This liquid illuminator, this is fab if you have like tan on or you're going on a night out across the chest or just all over you can mix it in with a little bit of your foundation pop it on like the bridge of your legs just to give that gorgeous kind of summer glow two creamy concealers which are kind of like dupes for the mac painter paint pots like painterly soft ochre would be my two favorites to use the lingerie collection i haven't used these yet but the texture and feel of them felt really nice they do darken a little bit as they drop so they look a little bit brighter, they will darken a little bit, so just kind of try that out in the shops before you buy them. Um, so we went with like that colour there, which is like a, it's kind of like a pinky, kind of pinky red. And then we also have the nude colour as well, which is that one there. Um, I love nudes, you know, if you know me and you know my looks, I love a nude lip liner. And a lipstick and a lip gloss and nude everything. Nude is a light. So then we have the liquid illuminator, but it's a really light tone. It's like like a soft and gentle version of a liquid highlighter. Um, so I wanted like one light for no tan and one for tan. So it's good to kind of mix and match. I actually picked up last minute was the lingerie collection uh, lip gloss as well. Um, it's really, really nice. It's like a mauve. Um, it's really, really nice. I swatched it in the shop and I was just like, oh, I need to get it. Need. And then I got this one here as well and this lip liner to match it's like really vampy as you can see there really really vampy colors i wanted like a deep kind of wine lip i know people always say it's summer go for nudes blah 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 but i'm like no wine lip any day i love it i think that was everything like i literally between the bag that i spent 250 pound and then the gifts in the room and the goodie bag you're probably talking about easily 500 if not more um euro or pound like it's just crazy how much 
Nyx have actually gave me. Between when I entered the top 20, got all my products, then they sent out their, their brushes and the vivid creams and then all of this. Like it's just crazy. I've never had a brand treat me like one of their own when I don't work for them, which is just amazing like, because for a brand to do that and you're, you don't even work for them, you're just in a competition, it's just surreal. Like, I, I don't know any other brand that will look after you that way. And I'm not, by all means, I'm not just saying this because Nyx gave me loads of products and I, I'm not one of those type of people that will just say, oh yeah, everything is amazing, like this works, that works. No, like there's some things that I don't like, some things that I do like, some things that I love. Um, but I have to say, overall, the quality of everything is just amazing. The majority of the products are very, very high class and to have all of this in my kit is just amazing like it's just crazy that i can use all of this some people <clears throat> it's literally like they've set up a whole kit for me to use like literally from scratch and obviously i use loads of other brands i have a lot of other brands as you know if you have ever got your makeup done with me or watch my tutorials but now like my whole kit is basically 90% NYX, 10% what I actually have because I have probably about 2K, 2K's worth of NYX products and I absolutely adore them. So if you did like my haul on everything NYX, my quick run through of the Face Awards and everything else, please give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe and drop a comment down below if you like the video. Thanks guys and I'll see you soon. Bye!